Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. So today I wanna to talk to you about diabetes. Um, a lot of you know that, that you've been following me for a while that I was a horrible diabetic. I was a type two diabetic and my numbers were just way up there in the 700s when I actually went to the hospital and they wanted to put me on metformin i absolutely refused i just i just knew medication was just not the way and i needed to change a lot of things about you know the way i ate of course um you know a lot of people sit there and they say oh well diabetes runs in my family diabetes does not run in your family the way that you eat runs in your family. So if your mom had diabetes, your grandmother had diabetes, you're going to end up with diabetes. My grandmother had diabetes. My, um, my, my dad on my, my mom on my grandmother, sorry, gosh, my grandmother on my father's side. Um, I believe I've heard the stories that she died of a diabetic seizure. My father's a diabetic. My mother's a diabetic. Um, <laughs> So I started realizing that, okay, well, if I eat like my grandmother and I eat like my mother, I'm going to end up having the same issues. And, um, you know, if my kids ate like I did, they're going to end up, ha it's just, it's, it's a horrible, um, it's a horrible pro process. So anyway, one of the things that, um, a lot of people think it's like, oh, I have diabetes, and then all of a sudden it's like, I can, you know, I can juice fast for, and that's what I thought in the beginning. You know, I saw these people getting rid of their diabetes with juice, and I thought, okay, well, I'm going to get, you know, get on a juice fast in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm not going to have any more diabetes. And of course, you know, your numbers do look great if you fast or you juice fast or whatever. Your, your numbers are going to look awesome. But you know what? The minute you go back to the way you were, it's going to come right back because you got there for a reason and you cannot go back to where you came from because if you if you continue to eat the way that you got diabetes you're going to end up getting it right back it's going to go away for a while but there are a few things that i have found that has helped along the way. And one of the things that I found recently, and I've, I've actually given this a go, and I've, well, I, I haven't given it a go because I, my A1C numbers now and everything are, are fine, but I've had some friends who have diabetes try this, and they've given me feedback back, and they say that it has worked for them. And I, I started doing some research. I had a friend who kind of bought this to me, and I started doing the research. And I found out that one of the problems um, with diabetes is free radical damage. And one of the best things for free radical damage is lemons, but not lemons, uh, lemon peels, orange peels, citrus peels. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm just not a big fan of lemon water. It's just never been my thing. I I'd rather drink, I'd rather eat the lemon by itself. I just, I'm not a big fan of lemon water. Kind of taste, um, I don't know. It's just not my thing. But the lemon peel water, I, I'm, I'm totally digging. I love it. So it's something that I've now incorporated into my, um, my pre-workout drink. I throw one in and I'm going to show you guys how to take advantage of this. And I guarantee you it's going to work for you. I want, I want you to comment below. Let me know. Because one thing I found is like, uh, mark when you start doing this and three days later, I want you to take your blood sugar again and, and you're going to notice a huge, huge difference. Now, there's a lot of people out there that are going to sell you lemon peel stuff, uh, you know, to try to get you to lose this. But you can actually, if you don't want to go that route, you don't want to spend the money on supplements and stuff to uh, get the lemon peel in. Um, this is one way you can do it. Now, the trick is to get the entire lemon into your body because you want, you want the seeds, the peel, the grind, the everything. You want the entire lemon. So the first way I found is easy to do this is I buy lemons. 
and I freeze them. So, yeah, these are really slippery. So these are nice and hard. They're frozen solid. And what I do is I take, you can take any grinder that you want, right? Um, I've got this little simple one and you just, just completely grind the whole thing and you're going to end up with the entire lemon because you're going to be grinding the it's, it's easier when they're frozen so normally i freeze the lemon for 24 hours and when they're nice and frozen like this they're frozen solid then it's easier to grind them and once you have all the grinds in a bowl then what you do is you put it in a nice ice tray like that and now what I found with this is that um, some of the peels do end up pretty big and I was putting it in my um, you know my drink for the gym and I was kind of having to be careful because some of the 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 rind was a little large and, and as I was sipping through my cup I don't have my cup here but it has a little straw and as I was sipping through it I was kind of choking on some of the rind so the second way that I found is if you are one of those people that happens to have um, one of these lovely high-speed blenders, whether it be Nutribullet or, um, you know, uh, Blendtec or any of these high, high, high-speed blenders, don't freeze your lemons. Just throw the entire lemon in there peel lemon i mean the entire lemon just put a you don't even have to put water because there's definitely juice in the lemons so just throw a bunch of lemons in there and start them up and just mutilate them and you end up with this so the next thing you do is you fill up your ice trays now with the lemons uh, when i do the lemon peel ice cubes i always put plastic on them simply because it seems like um, it picks up all the smell from the freezer. So I will put saran wrap on them so it doesn't pick up the smell. But it's pretty easy. So once, you wanna do at least two cubes a day in order to get your blood sugar down. So, let's see if I can get in here. So they're pretty easy to take out. And then at that point, once you have them in ice cube form, you just drop them in your water and um, and then I put other ice cubes in here too I put like five or six ice cubes and just let my water get nice and then it'll start dissolving in there and this way you can get the peel into your system because it's the peel that's gonna start attacking all those free radicals and it's gonna start bringing your blood sugar down to a normal level so I love it. The taste. It's not it's not like lemon water. It's it's got this really refreshing taste and you know, we have summer coming up and this is going to be like awesome. Just totally awesome. You can see all this little stuff already floating around in there. That's why I like to I <laughs> add other ice cubes. I don't like stuff floating around my water. I know I'm kind of weird. All right. So if you are a type 2 diabetic or you know someone who is a type 2 diabetic, get on those peels. Um, what I do is one week um, I will do lemon and then another week I will do orange. Any citrus is going to work um, for that. But lemons definitely are the top of the mountain um, in order to do this. So... I love it. It's given my pre-workout uh, drink a whole brand new taste. And I, I find the lemon juice, you know, refreshing while I'm working out. All right. There you go. It's simple. It's easy. Lemons are cheap right now. Um, so, you know, get to either grinding them on a grater, grate them, get them nice and grated, fill up your ice tray, put it in the freezer. Or throw it into your Vitamix, Blendtec, Nutribullet, whatever, 
and Ninja, you know, any of those blenders will work and mutilate the hell out of those lemons. That way you're getting the juice, the seeds, the, the rind, the everything. You want the peel, but definitely the peel because those lemon peels are what's going to start bringing that blood sugar down. Now, last thing I want to say about this is please, I know that I give out a lot of information on how to take care of your body and everything else, but number one on your list should always be diet. Everything that I offer up, yes, they're helpmates, and yes, it's going to help you, but you need to get on a healthier diet. That's number one. Number one, you have to start eating healthy. Number two is moving your body. We were never meant to be stagnant. We have gotten to a point in our lives now where we are so stagnant and we just keep getting more and more stagnant sitting on our computers sitting in front of the tv sitting on our phones we do not get outdoors we don't anything if all you do is get up and go walk around the block one time that's going to be a lot better than just sitting stagnant our lymphatic systems were never meant to take in this much processed junk and then sit on our butts all day and not move. So a lot of people are having inflammation, which this does help with inflammation, and um, you know, and and aches and pains and everything else. So diet number one, exercise number two, and start, um, you know, and then you you can incorporate all these things that are going to help. You know, um, I know a lot of diabetics when I had my diabetes <laughs> that would sit there and go dying for cake after dinner. So I'm going to go hit my metformin, get my numbers down so I can have that cake. That's not what this is about. So please, your bodies are wonderful machines. They do so much for you. Treat them right. Give them some love back. God knows they've been helping you out for years. You know, some of you 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I just turned 55. And I know because a lot of people lately have been going, how old are you? I just turned 55. And, um, you know, I have less aches and pains and more freedom of movement than most 30-year-olds because of the way I eat. And, of course, you know, all my supplementation that I do. All right. Till next time. Please. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I love you guys. Bye-bye.